Mother Teresa. Please subscribe the channel and tap the bell icon. Mother Teresa was born on August 26, 1910, Skopje, the current capital of the Republic of Macedonia, was the place she was born. She was a Roman Catholic nun and missionary of Albanian Indian. Her father Nicola has passed away when she was just 9 years old. The money was stolen by Nicola's business partner after he passed away. Due to all these factors including the ongoing world war, his family was also experiencing financial difficulties at the time. The most tragic time for her and her family occurred during that time. But her mother was a really resilient individual. She took on all the duties necessary to provide for her family. Agnes was her birth name. She began by running a modest business where she sold embroidered clothing and other handmade clothing in order to support her family. She was a woman with compassion and love in her heart from the day she was born. Agnes' heart was incredibly compassionate from a young age. She was excessively religious and dedicated to philanthropy. From a young age, her mother instilled in her such wonderful ideals. In addition to always praying for the others, Agnes and her mother gave as much assistance to others as they could. In the Albanian language, Agnes completed her education at a private Catholic school. Agnes made the decision to become a nun and devote her family to helping people after receiving her degree. A nun is a female saint who takes pledges to obedient, pure and dedicated to living their entry lives for the poor and needy people. Agnes said her final goodbye to her mother and siblings when she was 18 years old. She joined the Sisters of Loreto after departing from Skopje. Finally, she came to India. Agnes became Teresa. She had already begun her preparations to become a nun. When she arrived in India, Teresa moved from Darjeeling to Calcutta, now known as Kolkata. She began working as a teacher at St. Mary's High School. Teresa was devastated when the Second World War broke out. She was shocked by how humanity has degraded. She was managing all of the institutions work at the time which presented several difficulties. Poor children held a special place in Teresa's heart. Immediately following India's independence, every citizen was dealing with economic hardship. After the division, Teresa established a number of camps for refugees to assist the kids. Teresa is referred to as the mother of the poor because she gave patients to food, shelter and medicine. She became aware of the enormous number of poor individuals and children around the world. Teresa and other missionaries received official approval to launch their own non-profit homes. Finally, Teresa founded the Missionaries of Charity in Calcutta on October 7, 1950. There are a lot of missionary institutions around the world that Teresa opened. There she received financial assistance from both Indians and the Indian government. 
she suffered a number of health problems as she turned older she was also receiving care from eastern country medical professionals even so after a while her organs including her kidney and lungs had shut down functioning mother teresa passed away on september 5 1997 in kolkata west bengal at the age of 87 mother teresa received numerous honors including the bharatna in 1980 In 1979 Mother Teresa won the Nobel Peace Prize the highest honor in the world for her efforts thank you